We continue today reading from Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh. We continue laying the foundation with Book 1, Chapter 4, Section 7. Seek not to change the world. The world is a mirror of the thoughts you think you think and the identity you think you are, as long as perception lasts. The world will never change. The eyes and the ears of the body will seem to offer separate images and sounds. They will continue to report differences. For this reason, they were made. Until perception disappears entirely, they will continue to do what they were made in hate to do. Yet the healed mind realizes none of them are true. Thus, it is possible to see the world from a higher perspective and experience the peace of the forgiven world. This is the goal of A Course in Miracles. You still perceive the world, but from this right-minded perspective, there is no longer any attempt to judge between that which is all the same. Images are the same. They are not different. The Holy Spirit's perspective is indeed different from the ego's personal slant. And this discernment or mind training is the goal of all effort to reach inner peace and tranquility. The world is like a mask that was made to hide the truth. The mask seems to shift and change. But do not be fooled by appearances. The world will never change. Come within in peace and accept this simple statement. Lay aside all attempts to judge any person or aspect of the world you perceive. Lay aside the desire to fix or improve or change that which was made as a distractive device to keep you blind and preoccupied. Rest now. For you are entitled to happy dreams from a new perspective that surely awaits your recognition in awareness. Do not try to complicate what is simple and obvious with attempts to intellectually understand the book as a collection of concepts. Forgiveness is not the study of the ego. The Course aims at an experience of the present moment. All so-called knowing and understandings must be released to the Holy Spirit. Accept that you know nothing and thus open the mind to an experience of the new perspective. Each miracle gives a glimpse of the new perspective. Remember that not one thought the world believes is true. Relax in the awareness that the ego has no contribution to make to the truth. Not one opinion or specific judgment has any validity or value.
from this clean and open-minded perspective is the world shown to you anew. And it is obvious that the world will never change. Change your mind about your mind by accepting the mind's changeless state of innocence and perfection. Make way for the vision of Christ. It is the only sight there is to see. The light of understanding is visible to the spiritual eye. Do not attempt to see with the body or to understand images. There will come a time when all images have gone by and the mind will rest in eternity. There is no need to delay what is simple and natural. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Text Introduction The metaphysics of these statements are clear and straightforward. Apply the workbook lessons and refrain from making any exceptions. Many teachers focus on the principles and words and give little attention to practical application and transfer of training. If you would forgive, you must experience that there is no such thing as partial forgiveness. Only complete forgiveness or atonement brings lasting peace. Judge not is not an injunction to stop judging. Rather, it is an invitation to the awareness that judgment is forever impossible. You need not make amends for past judgments, for by understanding that judgments are unknown to God, to love, you realize that only love is real and judgment is impossible. How innocent is the being God created in wholeness and spirit. To know the Christ as thyself is inevitable. The symbols and the gifts and the tools of awakening are noticed everywhere once you have opened your heart to them. They are free and freely given. They come with blessings and with no cost or sacrifice. They come easily to a willing heart and open mind. Be not afraid of love. Love comes as a friend and the Holy Spirit is friendly and gentle. I come in peace. I come in joy. I come in love. I come in happiness. The light has come. Seek not to change the world. Change your mind about the world. The world will never change.